What is up, guys? We are back with a new segment of what we're calling Going For It, uh, our football podcast here on the Junk Drawer Show. I hope you guys enjoyed. I sat down with Craig this week and we talked all things quarterbacks in the NFL. Uh, this, of course, is prior to Carson Wentz being traded because naturally we're a jinx. But I hope you guys enjoy everything anyway. Uh, check out the segments and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. What's up, guys? We are back with uh, the NFL podcast. Uh, we are sans Mike Spillane this evening, but Craig did bring a friend, all of his chest hair that is <laughs> on display. <laughs> well, all the viewers could have some. I'll pack it up and I'll send it. <laughs> is that is that the equivalent of e girl bathwater? Is that what e we're giving away? Is just stinky panties. I've heard that sells well. Stinky. That's also a thing that I think people stinky would purchase. Pants. Sixty bucks, I heard. Feels like, lucrative business. Feels feels like a lot. You could go to Victoria's Secret, get five pair for forty, right? You're in eight bucks. You wear them anyway. You do nothing different. Sixty dollars, right? So take out your eight, take out shipping. Fifty buck a panty. Like we're in the wrong business. We are in the wrong business. Now, I my new business, which is Craig's panties. <laughs> <laughs> I got a discount offer. Coupon code is you don't want it, but you can get it. <laughs> You don't want it, but you can have it. You don't want it, and you it's only 30 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> That's stupid. Cut that maybe out. You'll get a loo- maybe you'll get a loose chest hair. Who knows? Here's the cra- – you would definitely get chest hairs. You would get pubes <laughs> and no extra charge. <laughs> Here's the thing. Terrible idea. One person would buy it. Wife would get jealous. That's what would <laughs> One – End of business. Creep who's like, hmm. <laughs> I like that man's chest. <laughs> yeah, I wonder what that smells like. <laughs> you know how everyone's into like ASMR? Uh, you should turn your podcast into that. Just get real close to your mic and like chew food and shit. Well, maybe there's someone out there looking for this. <laughs> you could ASMR that. You should get a real nice mic and just oh, God, you're ruffle, right. the, ruffle the maybe chest. Maybe sure would sponsor that. Maybe we could get a sponsor for the ASMR chest hair ruffling. I love it. But but I would have to not do the because then it would or should you do? <laughs> yeah, you're right. We gotta send this to some of those folks. People get into talk that. To some people, we gotta talk to some people. We need to focus group this. Can you open open invite? Get some people in that like weird sounds. We are <laughs> something. It's the chest fluff channel. We can get big celebrities that have chest hair to do their fluff. Does it sound different than my fluff? We'll find out. We're gonna know. We're gonna find out. I think we had an idea. Boom. You guys watched it hatch. Too bad it's working live. We already turned it into a business. <laughs> We're taking donors now. Feel free to contribute. Yes. <laughs> Chest hair ruffle channel. <laughs> oh, man. This is... I I feel like the last time we did this was the start of quarantine. And now look look at where we've gone. Wow. Is no, just quarantine's never ending for me. I think Zoom is now going to just be what I do for, for, for work, I think. I don't know. It seems it's working. I don't just go anywhere. I go to the office once a week. It's desolate. There's nobody there. Seems <laughs> effective, man. It works out. It's going to change everything, though. I mean, it's even changing sports, right? I'm, bring, I'm yeah. bringing it in, bringing it in. COVID is changing sports. It's changing mini camps. It's changing the lead up. It changed last season, obviously. Now, the product they put on the field, luckily, wasn't really changed. But we saw a lot of what? Early injuries, kind of weird stuff. There was some teams that got COVID, teams that didn't. I don't know that we're out of that. I think this draft into this season, there's still going to be some stuff. Yeah, I think one of the weirdest parts for me was seeing like a a Rob Gronkowski who came out of retirement. And I think the first half of the season, I was like, this guy's cooked. He is cooked. He's done. Yeah, but and then it obviously comes out after. I don't know if you heard that he was running his sprints all in one day in different shirts. That's (laughs) and then. But Genius. isn't that fantastic? Oh, it's phenomenal. And that, you wouldn't expect it from anyone else. He's so on brand. And he actually has a brand now, which is kind of funny that whether that's true or not, or just his manager or social media person said, we need to say that because that's very Gronkian. 
Whether it happened or not, I'm glad to know it. I'm glad it's in my world because all I can think about is, yeah, he ran the seven sprints, different shirts, done. That was it. He did it one day, and then the rest of the time he was just sitting on the couch getting ready to shoot more Manscaped commercials. He, yeah, what? Wait a minute. How do you, I feel like they give that to anyone. McAf- Pat McAfee's doing that. Gronk's doing everything. Does. I also love the Pat McAfee show. Love it. I do, too. Did I'm you, a big fan of his. I got it. I, I like him a lot. I like him a lot. I'm, I'm not a daily, but I got addicted to his Aaron Rodgers interviews. On I like the, the highlights. I follow the page. I don't. I can't watch during the day because no, I only do calls. Clips. I only do yeah. clips. But the the clips and the highlights they post, phenomenal. Yeah, phenomenal. I follow their YouTube. I think we watch the same kind of stuff. I'm just not on it daily. But I he, I love his like quick six to eight minuters of like what these big stories. Whether it was when Urban Meyer went to Jacksonville, there was a, he had a thing. He's oh about everything about everything about players tweeting and stuff because he's. He's pretty active in the space yeah. as, as a former player, hip, uh, punter player, whatever you want to call it. Players that. seem to like talking to him, too. Yes. yes. He can get – he brings on AJ Hawk every day, I think, and he's yeah. like on the show. And every show has somebody. Rogers coming in, I thought, was a big boon, though, to legitimize the show every week. That's, sure. MVP. That's the MVP. He's – gross uh to circle it back to gronk real quick that was something they did talk about on mcafee today that i didn't realize and i think would be very interesting to talk about because for the first time in his career rob gronkowski is going to be a free agent Mm -hmm. it's never happened before and really we, we kind of understand that yeah he signed an extension in new england and then he retired so he's never tested free agency now we know that him and Tom are BFFs for L. I'm pretty sure, right? I mean, yeah. But if someone comes in and says four years, 15 mil. Per does year? Gronk, yeah. Does Gronk. Oh, dear. That's a bit of money, isn't it? But I don't. Here's the thing. I don't think he wants to play four more years. I really don't. I think he only came back because he got a call from Tommy. Legit. He was doing a he has a party company. He gets, um, what do you call it, a bunch of endorsements. I believe he's either engaged or in a serious relationship with a with a, a fitness female that is blowing up on Instagram. She is, yeah. I, I don't believe he would take that as much as it would be maybe a, a large sum for one year maybe, but I think he'd rather take less to stay with Tom again if he continues to play. And I do think that's an if. You don't think he's sold on playing this season? You don't think the the Super Bowl has swayed him? Well, I'm sure it did something. But, boy, it's really hard. Like, he's in the Shaquille O'Neal scenario. I think he has four now. And it's that second team got another one like Shaq did with the with the Heat. You didn't see the same Shaquille after that. Even that fourth title Shaquille was suspect. But he came in big. Well, didn't Gronk? Playoff Gronk and Super Bowl Gronk was everything Massive. you know. He just can turn that switch. But Shaq did play, I think, another year or two. So we could see that. We could because he got close with Wade. He got close with these dudes are getting to the level. And I I made the basketball kind of corollary on purpose. What started, what, 12 or 13 years ago with the Celtics big three changed the NBA. We saw something in the NFL that can change how free agency has worked. And that's why I would I would my long winded as I tend to be, I can't see Gronk taking a deal other than a one year for an obscene amount for a tight end, or he would just stay with Tom. Tom all but confirmed he's coming back. It, that's, yeah, Brady he said he wanted to play after you know past forty five. Yeah. It's like it's, and it's why, in looking at him this year, it's hard to say that he wouldn't be able to do so, but he, at, at what point does Father Time win? You know, like it's gonna catch up eventually. Eventually, but if they if they invest in line, they keep bringing in. I I, I was speaking to my parents about Tom today because one of the cards I got back is a Brady. It's his prism from 2013 that I was excited about, but because I think it's his first one in that series. He's gonna what he already is. Now we have proof. He's not just the goat. He was that already. He, right. he double goaded this. This He was already that. Now I call him the Pied Piper because they become it. 
anyone who wants a ring, become it. Fournette had some problems where he was. You knew the talent was there. He's there. A, B. Gronk comes back. They already had Sue. I'm not trying to say Sue came to follow him. But a few guys kind of come. The rest level up their mentals. Level up their mentals. Well, guess what? There's more guys that want a ring. This is going to be like the Lakers. I'm going basketball again. When Carl Malone showed up late trying, he failed. He missed it. Him and uh, Gary Payton teamed up. It was too late in the Kobe cycle. Too late. Didn't work. Tom just showed it. Tom just showed what can happen with that. My bet is that you don't see Gronk on a team other than the Bucks in 21. 